has this weather on lock, and I'm not just talking this beautiful day outside. I don't want to give it away. It's not my job. <laughs> but uh, Sunday's forecast. I just hope it sticks. Yeah, yeah. You know, we're looking for that window. We call it the dry slot. Derek and I have been talking about this most of the weeks, even with our weather team. Yeah. There's a window in here between part one and part two of the storm. It's a sweet spot. And if you get that dry window, it can last a few hours. So we're hoping that it pivots in here toward the game. Not like impossible. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so do I. So let's bring on that sweet spot. We'll show you where that sweet spot is here on Sunday with the future weather here. But we do want to prepare you worst case scenario because remember these storms are delicate. A couple hours makes a big difference. Uh, either way we see it, here is your tailgating and pregame forecast. So we're talking about the morning hours. Steady rain in the morning probably ends here by about nine in the morning. Then the rain coverage becomes spotty. It could be a little pocket of mist or drizzle, but the gist is here that we probably have a dry window here, and that heads into the game. Now, the second part of the storm won't be as intense as the first part, so that means Worst case scenario, you get some on and off light showers here, wind whip temperatures in the 40s. Same deal with the post game here, uh, where you probably don't even care what the weather is, hopefully with a nice victory. But temperatures will be in the 40s here with some showers as well Sunday evening, Sunday night. So to break this down, worst case scenario is there's a light rain going on. But check into the forecast here later tonight and also tomorrow. We might be able to carve out some drier windows here, which would be good news. And the worst case scenario, we have a little light rain moving on in here. So this is what I'm talking about. Round one of the storm, that's a steady soaking rain. That's Saturday evening, Saturday night. You see the yellows, the oranges, but this is a fast moving batch of rain. 4 a.m. on Sunday, still raining pretty good. And then by 9 a.m., look, there's a sharp cutoff where nothing is happening here to the west. That's the sweet spot or what we call the dry slot moving on through. Then 3 o'clock Sunday afternoon, you see that rain reloading to the west. That pivots on in here. So some rain is possible during the game, but also some drier windows. So what we're trying to tell you here is the weather may be variable throughout the course of the game with some dry weather and also some periods of showery weather, but nothing extreme. Feels like 74 in town right now. We hit 78. We're still waiting on the official number. If we hit 79, if so, that would be an all-time January record high in Baltimore. Cold front moves on through. Knocks our temperatures back down to the 50s here, but the seven-day forecast shows that we have uh, some typical winter temperatures in here for the next seven days or so. Sunday being the challenging day with some rain in the morning, some showery weather in the afternoon with that little sweet spot in between. And the weather actually next week looks pretty sweet as well. That's a big sweet spot with temperatures mid to upper 40s to near 50 by next Friday. Let's get the wind Sunday and then we got the temps to back it up. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah we're in there tweaking in the weather center trying to make all this happen for but you. But the weekends look good. Absolutely.